What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some My Hero Academia. Very, very late at night or very, very early in the morning, depending on what perspective you use. I am very excited for Season 6. I do want to let you guys know some quick info before we get into anything. Some of you guys might be new. Some of you guys are unaware. But when it comes to the Patreon full length version which is normally a patreon exclusive with the first and last episode of every season of all, every show we do on the channel the full length version is available for free for everyone so click the link in the top of the description enjoy that free full length come back here for the review once you're done and if you want to consider keeping that for the rest of my hero the other shows we're watching one piece kuroko no basket consider checking out that patreon great benefits other than that make sure you leave a like uh let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm not going to stall you guys any longer let's hop right on into it this is the first episode is not a recap episode, which is huge for my hero. That's how you know season. Everyone has been telling me season six is whew, I'm not even gonna talk about it. This one's called a quiet beginning. I cannot believe we're on 114 episodes of my hero academia. Let's do it. The evil crawling quietly. The second spring. Am I correct? And like the second spring ish area is when the new uh, year starts. So like second years. Oh, Reed Destro and the rest of the Paranormal Liberation Front. I honestly thoroughly enjoyed my Villain Academia. I love getting not only background flashbacks, character development, but also huge power upgrades for all of our villains. Like, I'm genuinely nervous for our heroes, and that's a good tension builder. Thank you for saying that, Hawks, and agreeing with me. I appreciate you. Been a week, did he say, since then? I get where he's coming from. Okay. <laughs> I love his uh, split personality. I mean, you've been gathering info on the low very well, in my opinion. Understandable why they'd believe in the meta liberation credo, you know. That's a pretty good one. Way to re and reaffirm that, you know. True. <laughs> also, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I love Twice. I also love Hawks, too. Yeah, exactly. Chaos is a ladder, as Littlefinger once said, you know. This, <laughs> literally, I, woo, just hearing it said out loud, you know. The end of Japan, the second coming of all for one. Of course, twice, we're always here for you, my boy. Jin Bubai Gawara, thank you, twice. He genuinely is scary, yes. The army of twices, yes. I'm glad this is being pointed out because I also agree. Him just flooding, creating, flooding, flooding, flooding. Oh. Four months, yep. Off. So twice has given some very valuable, very valuable information to Hawks. Four months of deep training in the Kyoto Mountains. He genuinely is, and I don't want to pause it. I love the title screens for the season, but uh, I love how Hawks is saying then how he's getting information out of twice because I, I just rewatched season five, um, uh, just a few weeks ago, and seeing Twice's backstory and how he literally happened to fall into the wrong crowd he got in that motorcycle accident which literally ruined his life and then from there he had nothing to do but you know it's like i get that and i i get how he's a good-natured person I, I, I fuck with the things that are being pointed out about him Ooh, dr ujiko at the hospital garaki kudai Garaki Kudai, is that his actual name? I always knew him as Dr. Ujiko, but he made up that name last season. So, Garaki Kudai. I'm just going to see that one more time. Garaki Kudai. No quirk, he's quirkless. He seemed whimsical. 
I mean, it's understandable, but having that much resources and that much pull, he probably has access to any quirk, any body, anything he ever needs. And now that information is being spread, yes. That's clearly a fucking Nomu, yep. It's not Johnny, the teleporting one, but it's clearly a different one. Gotta get that throat minty fresh, you never know how much he'll be screaming. I'm loving how many top 10 heroes we're having right now. You know, I love seeing Rock Lock again 13. It's been a minute since we've seen 13. Echo Plasma, all of the Pussy Pussy Cats. Manual. Holy shit, I didn't actually realize how many heroes we have here. It makes sense now, Sukouch. Thank you, sir. Team Endeavor, Team Headshot. Ooh. Endeavor's gonna be focused on the doctor in the hospital. Headshot's gonna be doing the Mountain Villa, which is the hideout. Ooh. If we're getting those within the next 10 episodes, I am so down. I'm so ready. Logistical support. Not on the front lines. I like that. Tell me that's not a shot right there. It's not the League of Villains anymore. We've grown bigger than this. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ed Shot's already out here? In the mount... I sure hope so. If I had to guess, I'm I'm assuming this season where we might lose a couple of adult heroes, death, losing their quirks, whatever that may be. I I hope we lose zero kids. I <laughs> that'd be so dark. I'm ready, just as you told me to be. Oh, Hawks, yes, obviously it's classified. Shouts out to them and their secret way of communicating. You know, get this book, get, you know, I love, I love Hawks. Love Endeavor too. Yeah, the worst one you could ever have, slide and go. He's like, what's going on? Yeah, even, <laughs> they're not going to tell you because you're fucking corrupt. Immediately arrested, you can't. <laughs> no hesitation you heard front lines moving and they're immediately going in i never got to see burning in action either last season i know she's uh endeavors one of her, uh, his main sidekicks there's what are a bunch of heroes storming the hospital for uh, <laughs> and i love miracle the minute time I've gotten to see her, I am very excited for her. We still got a little over a month, because this was a month before, you know. Oh, those mid-cut cards look really dope. Oh my god, is this what they look like now? These look sick. I do miss little bits of info we would get from the characters before, but those look sweet. Natsu and Fuyumi. I pretty much really enjoy the whole Todoroki family, if I'm honest with you. I don't like the fact that you're saying that in general, Natsu. I, <laughs> that makes me more nervous it will be, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, so he is not quirkless. He actually does have a quirk or he de-ages himself or it keeps him young longer. Yeah, because we all, I mean, isn't all for one over a hundred years old? I love how personally invested present Mike and uh, Eraserhead are for their friend Shirokumo, yeah. In a dark version of this show, present Mike could burst your eardrums, make you bleed, you know, like do some really dark shit. I love that shot of the goggles from his friend, Shirokumo to him taking them off. Ooh, this looks so real deal, Holyfield, the HQ, everything, coordinating everything. I'd be so down to cut back and forth between Endeavor and Edshot. Oh, we have many Anomus already ready. I actually didn't think he actually had a plan or got the upper hand, but he was absolutely ready. And shit is hitting the fan already. 
With double, won't erase even with erasure. That is crazy. That was a double the whole time. He, and he's gaining knowledge in this, with this, like. What is this, like a Nomu in a whale's Nomu? With. Oh, so he absolutely needs this lab in this hospital. Oh my god, the amount of no Oh my god. My literally his entire life. Oh my god, Mirko. Anything you do to these no moves, I'd happily take from you, even though she is fucking kicking it. <laughs> oh my god, we know Johnny can get them out of there. Oh my god, is she quick as shit? Johnny just fucking died. This is the opening, right? The episode just started. There's. I can't wait another week. I can't wait a week. I think there's a very specific reason. Not only you guys have been saying this season is going to be crazy, is going to be super dark, is going to be peak my hero. But I think there's a reason this is the first My Hero season in a very long time without a dedicated recap episode at the very beginning. They're like, we have a story to tell. There's a lot of it. We got to get going. And by golly, did they get going. They still had a little mini recap at the beginning, which is always needed, always necessary. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it immensely. I'm just saying I'm very appreciative of how they are getting the ball rolling. Thoroughly enjoyed the opening. Thoroughly enjoyed the ending. Um, I really, for some, it didn't even look bad at all. Like, I actually really enjoyed that cut uh, of Mirko when she first started going against the Nomus. She seemed to be, like, CG right there, and some of the Nomus are CG. Like, it's Bones who does my hero, right? Maybe I'm incorrect on that. Could be Madhouse. Um, but absolutely fantastic animation. I'm loving Mirko, the rest of the squads, how we're coordinating this. Um, how Hawks is the, the secret source of information, and how Endeavor was taking it so serious, how he was ready for this fight. Um, Ed Shot is the one doing the, inf not the infiltration, but the lead against everyone in the mountains on their paranormal liberation front fortress, their headquarters, which I'm so glad we can cut back and forth between Endeavor's team and Ed Shot's team. We really didn't get a lot of Ed Shot's team, so I, especially with knowing it's going to be 25 consecutive episodes, no part one, part two breaks at all, like I'm assuming... We're going to be getting a lot and a lot, a lot of fights, a lot of action, a lot of crazy character development, crazy moments, twists, all this, that, and the above. I was already shocked by this episode alone multiple times. Um, Dr. Ujiko, him being a quirk user who has stocked up and actually duplicated, manufactured actual quirks in a physical sense and has gear and equipment to be able to hold and distribute them is crazy. The amount of, of work and um like the size of his little secret laboratory is crazy uh, who knows how long he spent down here with all for one he was the creator of this hospital and the chairman of the board and he, the amount of resources and that is crazy and the fact that all that was a double because i was so excited for endeavor to be on his ass but then it was a double and i was like damn he does have the upper hand but then mirko is amazing and then she fucking splattered johnny it looked like so johnny is no longer going to be able to quick get him out of there so I'm very curious what's going to happen next. Is he going to be taken because, oh, that's going to get dark. I was going to say because Tomura's right there. And I think there's still a month from the current time that we just ended off or until he's perfected. But Tomura's right there. And if there's ever a way, I mean, we know we have 24 more episodes left. We know he's not going to get taken right there. So I'm very curious about that. Wowzers. This is going to be a crazy season. Holy smokes, am I ready for it? Hopefully you guys are as well. I actually know you are. No point even me asking. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like I said, check out that Patreon if you guys want to consider keeping that full length for the rest of it and or early access and full length of the other shows I'm watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I upload on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, night, morning. Dapper Squad, peace out.